Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News, and I'm joined by David Adelaide. Before we get on to yourself, David, talk me through what we've just seen. Gilles Zhang stopping Joe Joyce in the sixth. Heavyweight boxing, man. We'll see what happens when these guys land. Um, entertaining from the jump, though. I mean, everyone watching it had their money's worth. Um, and in the copper box, it's not a bad seat in the house, man. It's actually nice in it. I made my debut in it, so it was lovely, man. Definitely, definitely. What do you think was, I don't want to say the downfall of Joe Joyce tonight, but what do you think, why was Shang so dominant in there tonight? Just getting caught with a backhand. Joyce came in light, I said, that's one of the lightest he came in his career. Maybe maybe it had an effect. I don't think weight really matters when you're at that sort of size, but maybe it had an effect. Um, you know, he kept getting caught with a backhand. And every time, literally every time Shang threw it, it landed. Mm. So, definitely. You, if, if you were... Uh, if you were Joe Joyce, would you would you take the rematch? No, I know no. Joe started picking it up again. Um, I, I would if I was Joyce. I'd be like, we have to go with one that again. But, um, what does Joe need to do in the rematch to to be successful? Fast on his feet, move his head a bit more, um, set the pace from the jump. You know, he kind of literally started at a slow pace, let Zhang set the pace. Um, I see Joyce was moving from the beginning, but he didn't really set the pace. So um, there's a difference. So I think that's what Joyce has got to go and do in the rematch. Definitely. Well, we'll move on to yourself now, yeah. David. Kind of, um, obviously, over the last few weeks, a little bit of frustration. Obviously, you wanted, we kind of wanted to force the fight with Fabio Wardley after his stoppage when against Coffee. We saw the board ordered Fraser Clark to fight uh, Fabio Wardley. You were a bit frustrated with that on, on the timeline. What, what, what part about that is so frustrating for you? I mean, I've been pro how long, and he's been pro how long. I thought it was me that was making, getting made out of fight. Sorry, but um, it is what it is. I have avenues I can go down, and there's other avenues I'm going to go down. Um, like I said, I'm a pro, man, and I'm in many different lanes. I was going to go down on the one lane, just put my indicator like I'm going down another lane, do you know what I mean? Is that, is that kind of, is, is it, you're saying going down different lanes, is that going the international route? Obviously, you've got the WBO European at the moment. Is that kind of progressing up the WBO rankings and forcing a manager to slot that back way? Hopefully so, we'll just leave it for my manager and promoter. You know, I've got a good agent. Um, I've got a good promoter, so I'll just leave it with them. Definitely, when can we see you next in the ring, David? Um, a couple months, I'm active, man. Look at me, I'm in shape. I don't look like these other heavyweights. I look good, so uh, I'm always ready to have a tussle. They can have called me any time to have a fight. Definitely, I'll agree with you on that one, mate. Well, as, as you're right, I'm yeah. And kind of, obviously, how does a fight go with, obviously, there's four people that have been mentioned. Um, yourself, uh, Fabio Wardley, Fraser Clark and Sol Dakers. One, uh, I think I know the answer to this. Would you, would you fight all of them and how does it end with the fight? I'll stop every single one of them. That's what it is. I'm not here to call their name. They can call my name and whatnot. It's neither here nor there. Until someone comes and does me something and they're going to know about it. So I'll stop every single one of them. I'm not being fair for nobody. Trust me. We're going to start today. Definitely. Well, David, thank you for giving me your time today. Best of luck for you soon. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah.